physical, physical lift yep. their transition and how do you think your team handled each of those? <laughs> well, the transition wasn't very good at the start, right? We, uh, I think in the first uh, 27 points, I think we gave up 17 in transition. Um, a physicality and offensive rebounding, those are kind of our two keys going into the game was uh, uh, defensive rebounding and transition. And, and we got to the half and the transition number was super high and they had 14 offensive rebounds. So we didn't you know, take care of our priorities and dug ourselves um, too big a hole to get out of and just didn't just didn't play with enough physicality. I think we were getting bumped a lot and we knew that that was going to be the case and we didn't react to it very well. You don't have a lot of large physical guys to match up with, so can you scheme around that or how do you... Well, we're going to have to play better, right? If we're going to, you know, you, you know you're going to have to figure out a way to scheme against it, right? And, and that's two nights in a row where the, the big has really, really dominated us. And again, it's... You know, we just we just again came out of a bunch of games where we where we took care of some really good bigs, right? Really well, um, even with even with uh, smaller lineups, I guess uh, per se, right? Um, and I don't know. Again, it just it just comes down to, you know, you got to use a couple people on those guys, but those two people got to got to be physical or two or three or whoever's involved, and it got to got to do a better job of blocking out. When Brooks gets off to a good start like that, yep. on both ends of the floor with the way he plays and and the talking, is that something that can get under a team's skin a little bit? Well, I don't know a little bit. I just thought he did a really, really good job all night, both sides, right? He just had an incredible game, right? He, he, he was super, super physical. I, you know, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side with my guy. I thought he got away with a ton, right, uh, early, late, in the middle, like, and but that's you adjust. You know that they weren't going to call any of that stuff. So we we talk about you know trying to do other things, and we just didn't enough. Like and like to answer Doug's question a little bit too. So instead of trying to bang and use a physicality aspect, you use the length and skill, right? And we just didn't get enough of those possessions. Like like. Um, against you know that we got to use our length and height to negate some of that and we just didn't do it getting back to that point scotty i think was missed his first five or six shots but then he, his last seven all came in the restricted area or in the paint and how can you get him to get that assertive full game as opposed to the last three games? yeah i mean you know he had a tendency to do that last year a lot too right took a while to get it into the game and 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 uh you know certainly talk about like that's his plays that we need him to make you know at the you know start to finish like more consistently in the game not not when you know we get down 10 or 12 or when the fourth quarter starts or whatever like those are his moves and they're really good moves they're good power moves and he gets in there and sometimes he misses and he gets them back etc um just gotta he just gotta be more aggressive at the start what do you think of the minutes you got from Dowden? really good Thought he played really good. He, he's he's a good, solid defender. Um, pretty good uh, organizer. Can get a bucket here and there. I thought I thought he was you know part of that run that that he sparked some of that with his defense. Yeah, did a good, good did a good job. With Fred out, uh, what went into the decision to send uh, Delano to the 905? Well, I'm just trying to get Delano a little back in rhythm and conditioned um, from the injury uh, a little bit, and I thought it'd be good for him. I I also thought we had. A, um, some smaller guards coming in that that Doughton's a you know pretty good defender that he could go out there and go to work on them. So we just thought it'd be a, both those things made sense for us. Yeah. We talked we talked pregame and just now about the similarities between you and Memphis with the way that you guys. Use. Like yeah. Offense or whatever. Yeah. Does that give you optimism that you guys are on to something and it's just a matter of getting the guys to execute? Well, yeah, I don't know if uh, that play tonight gives me much optimism at all. That's pretty unacceptable with the uh, effort we gave. I thought the loose ball count was all in their favor. I'm not talking about 50-50 balls either. I'm talking about ones where we had huge advantages to get. Um, and we just, you know, that's our identity of who we are. Right, like when we're when we're tipping balls away, we're we're the first ones to the floor to get them, and we weren't close to that tonight, right? So, looking at anything else other than us just getting back to some instinctual uh, effort plays is my first uh, concern. Is, is a big part of that the several touchdown passes they had to in transition? It seemed like they were 
Well, the, the, it was it was about as bad as it could get, Tim. I mean, there was times when we'd make a free throw, and they'd throw ahead and dunk it down at the other end, like plays that can happen. They can happen maybe once every seven years. Like seriously, you know. And like you know, so uh, got to we got to get focused and connected and and get serious about playing harder. Your team last year, not that there weren't other pillars, but it was sort of built on that nightly reliable energy and effort. And, you know, that obviously yep. hasn't been the case this year. I mean, do you have any obvious reasons like that, for that? No, I think you're right. First of all, um, we've been, we've been um, lacking that certainly lately. Right. Certainly lately we've been lacking uh, playing to our identity. Right. And um, I don't know, we're just a little bit disjointed right now. And we've got us we got to hang in there and, and get to work and keep showing them uh, what we're talking about. And, and hopefully they'll they'll go out there and execute it. They, they should they should um, get tired of this pretty soon and start playing. Is that uh, DNP? Is that an injury or is that nope. just choice? Just choice. Coach's decision. When it comes to the defense, you guys were really good at limiting frequency at the rim last year. Yeah. Those numbers have come or gone in the opposite direction yeah. this season. You guys rotated towards the ball last year, like towards the free throw line. Are those rotations coming a bit slower? Is there a less resistance yeah. at the point of view? Our biggest, our biggest issue defensively is we're playing transition defense far too frequent. Right? They're, they're coming out at us off a missed shot or a turnover way too much right you just can't constantly be in that mode right our, our lack of scoring and our lack of shooting has put our defense in a huge bind just early on and that you can handle but you can't handle it over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again to be constantly on the run defensively right you got to get your defense set up so that's probably my biggest concern right now coach what happened with Barnes in the third quarter when he left the floor? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but it looked like he got hit in the face or something because I thought he was holding his face when he exited. Right, but I did not really get an update because he was back fairly quickly. He must have just took a shot and and recovered. Poked in the left eye, coach. Pardon me? Poked, Poked in the left eye. There you go. Thanks, JQ. Nick, what kind of levers do you have or, or measures do you have? You talked about after many times defensively, you know, some of the plays tonight. Yeah. So, you know, where in your bag of trips can you go to kind of gain the focus here? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it it needs to get back to some foundational stuff, Mike. Like like uh, the bag of tricks got us back in the game, kinda, right? We started we you know we started doing some things that that got them out of rhythm and got a bunch of stops in a row, but the foundational stuff of of getting your defense set up, guarding the ball better. Right, contesting shots, blocking out better, etc. Have to get better, and we're just going to have to get to work on them. But does it go to like playing time or rotation shifts? Or well, it's going to have to be some of that, but it's also just going to have to be just good old-fashioned hard work, I think. Yep. Okay, everybody.